That's a really great question. If you are selling a home, you should disclose all material known facts. So anything you know about the house, you want to disclose it. And the way that I see it is, uh, if you have a cat that howls in the night, every single night, you want to disclose it. But you want to be really broad. So the way that I tell my sellers is, you don't need to give them a four page letter uh, of every single issue with the neighborhood or the house or anything else. You want just want to be broad. Uh, occasional noise from pets in the neighborhood, something like that. There are two forms that you fill out in the state of California when selling your home to disclose all known material facts to the buyer. The first is the seller property questionnaire, also known as the SPQ. We also have the transfer disclosure statement known as the TDS. Transfer disclosure statement is going to be more of my house has a microwave, a garbage disposal, central heating and air, a pool. You're going to kind of disclose a little bit of everything that you have. And if anything's not in working order, you're going to let them know. Um, what kind of roof you have, right? The roof type, how old it is. The seller property questionnaire, however, uh, that's going to be more in-depth questions of have you had any water issues, sewer issues? Is your house lo located near an industrial zone? All of those things. Have you made any remodel? Uh, re have you done any remodeling to your house? Those kind of things, those are the questions. And if you answer yes, then you want to disclose what remodels you did, uh, how you remodeled. And if you have, you want to disclose what remodeling you've done and how long ago it was done. So for instance, if you remodeled the bathroom three years ago, I remodeled the bathroom in 2018, um, replaced the vanity and flooring and whatever else that it, it is that you've done. So you want to disclose everything that you know, and if there's anything that's not working or not operating, you want to disclose that to the buyer. So my thought is when in doubt over disclose, you want to disclose everything, you know, but you don't have to give a whole bunch of detail. If the buyer asks questions, clarifying questions, and you can add to it, but I like to be as broad and as simple as possible. However, just tell the truth. <laughs> it's pretty simple. Just tell the truth, whatever you know about the house, you're going to disclose. So, I hope this was helpful for you. My name is Brandon Leon, your Rockland and Roseville real estate expert. I'll see you on the next one.